we had another question from Raj on our Facebook profile. This time it was this. Write a method that creates and initializes a two-dimensional array of primitive type double. The size of the array is determined by the arguments of the method and the initial values are from a range determined by the beginning and end values that are also arguments of the method. So there are four arguments in total. Also, create a second method that will print the array generated by the first method. In the main function, test the methods by creating and printing several different sizes of arrays. Our code looks like this. At the beginning of the create array method, we create a two-dimensional array. Next, we set the init value to the value from the method parameter. Now, we need to set the step by which we will increase the init value in every iteration while initializing the array. OK, now we need to implement two loops, one in another, to iterate through the array elements. One important thing to remember is to not exceed our array size. The second thing to check is if our initialization value isn't too big, which would be indicated by the end method input parameter. At the end, we increase the init value by adding a value of step to it. Printing this two-dimensional array is very easy. Watch. We just implement one loop in another loop, just like before, and print out the values. That's all. Take care and take ID easy. Bye.